you guys have come prepared with some specific topics that you want to cover. I know that the first one is explaining what supervised learning is in machine learning relative to unsupervised learning. Yes, and uh, I'll take this one. So um, the main difference between supervised learning and unsupervised learning is that in supervised learning, you know what to predict. You have a dependent variable, uh, which you already have the ground truth, so you know the labels for it in past data. And so you can use this, uh, la these labels in the dependent variable to train your model. While in unsupervised learning, you don't know what to predict, and therefore you don't have a dependent variable. You only have some inputs. For any machine learning model, you will have some inputs, but uh, in supervised learning, you will have an output with some labels. And in unsupervised learning, you won't have an output yet. Because in unsupervised learning, what the model will do is that it will identify uh, either some clusters or some patterns. And usually the way it identifies them is by creating a dependent variable, you know, creating some uh, an output, which after you can transform to uh, a supervised learning model. So uh, we give this uh, big uh, case study in one of our courses where, you know, you start with an unsupervised learning, you're trying to un uh, identify fraud and credit card transactions. So you use the unsupervised learning to, uh, uh, you know, figure out the frauds and the model will actually um, uh, find and build a dependent variable after which, well, it will be able to predict if, uh, you know, um, the result of that dependent variable for future credit card transactions. Cool. That sounds like a great example. Yeah. So with supervised learning, we have labels that we can use as, as you described, the dependent variable in the model, the output of the model. So in both cases, supervised or unsupervised, you have some kind of input to the model. But with supervised learning, you also have this label that can be predicted. Um, and yeah, you gave a really cool example there, including with credit card fraud, where you could use unsupervised learning to predict what those labels should be and then uh, use that in a supervised learning model. But we, there also might be circumstances, I guess, where we, we, we use unsupervised learning without necessarily the intention of being able to do supervised downstream, where we just want to understand our data better, identify some patterns, things like that, right? Correct. Yes. Yes. It's usually patterns or uh, clusters. We also have this other example where uh, we uh, identify clusters of customers in a mall. So we have as the input, uh, the age, the estimated salary, uh, their spending score, you know, which is a score from one to 100, uh, where the closer to 100, the more they spend in the mall. And at the end, what the clustering, therefore unsupervised learning model identifies is different clusters of customers where some, uh, you know, will uh, um, spend more in the mall while having uh, a low income or uh, some uh, spend don't spend too much in the mall while having a high income or, uh, you know, you have different categories. And, and then once you identify those clusters, then you can have different, uh, you know, uh, target advertising uh, uh, with different, uh, you know, advertising that you could apply on them. And uh, yes, this can lead to uh, like terrific uh, results. Nice. Super cool. All right. So that's supervised versus unsupervised learning. And I imagine that must be one of the first topics that you cover in your machine learning Python level one. Oh, actually one of the last ones, because oh, uh, once we get yes. to clustering, oh, we so, first talk about regression, then classification, then we get to clustering. That's when we cover it. Nice. So when people are using regression and classification, they're doing supervised learning, but uh, don't know. But because, but they don't, yeah, they don't know. <laughs> um, and I guess it doesn't, it, that, that's a testament to how you guys do your course, where you're giving practical applications and you're teaching the theory as it's needed. Yeah. People don't need to know that there are these different categories, yeah, supervised, yeah. unsupervised, yeah. Um, until you get to a point where you're like, oh, now we're getting into clustering, which is completely different yeah, yeah. because now all of a sudden we have data without labels. Cool. Yes. Yes. All right. 